Training for months in her hand crank cycle, Sarah Williford is ready for the Donna Marathon. Born with spina bifida, she has triumphed in the face of adversity. This is a great story. You have to see it tonight. Our Alex Oside is caught up with her at practice in Baldwin. Tires inflated, chains greased, and an open trail. Time for Sarah Williford to train. Born with spina bifida, doctors once told her parents she wouldn't be able to do much. Taking that is a challenge. She pursued multiple sports as a child. It's just the whole energetic competition, adrenaline rush thing for me, kind of. She only recently turned to cycling, and it was in the 2017 Donna race that really pushed her to train harder. I remember the first day, like, I had an expectation. I was like, oh, I'll do like five or six miles, and I ended up doing about 11, 10 or 11 miles a day, and I was like, kind of hooked from that point, seeing how far I could go after that. This is just one of the courses that Wilford trains on. She's out at it at least once a week, and her friends and fellow cyclists say that whatever she does, her approach is always all in. Trying to beat previous times, all the while working a day job and competing in other sports and clubs. Friend and Brooks Rehabilitation staffer Scott Brown has known Wilford for years. What she does with her life is really amazing. It, it, those are like the, the stories that we have in our program. Hand cranking her way down the trail, she recalls the difficulty of her first Donna and what might be a challenge to first timers this year. I had no idea. I was a nervous wreck the morning of it because I didn't know what the course was going to be like. Um, everybody was telling me about the intercostal bridge and I was absolutely terrified to do that part. But this year she knows the course and is ready for the challenge. Wilford, just one more example of the tenacious athletes out on the course. Reporting in Baldwin, Alex Ositis, First Coast News, on your side. So inspiring, and Williford says she is hoping to beat last year's time, which was just about three hours. And remember, this weekend is the Donna Marathon. Come out and help finish breast cancer. Hundreds of people will be running around the beaches all weekend long, beginning Friday. And First Coast News will have live coverage of the half and full marathon on Sunday morning, beginning at 7.